the, the Chinese government at that time was hiding the fact that there were cases in the capital, in Beijing itself. And at one stage, there were so many uh, rumors and worrying signs that the WHO uh, Beijing office uh, uh, com, uh, com, uh, uh, held a press conference. There were all the TV networks from around the world. And the head of the WHO China said, we don't trust the government figures anymore. And this was a turning point in the fight against SARS because two days later, the Minister of Health and the mayor of Beijing were sacked and the government took radical measures to fight SARS. So I think there, there comes a moment when an organization like WHO should not uh, please uh, a member state or a government when it deals with a, a major crisis like an epidemic or, or future pandemic. Of course, China didn't have as much clout back then. Exactly. I think obviously today it, it's much more difficult uh, to, uh, uh, to say bluntly to China anything. And secondly, I think uh, uh, Donald Trump has only to blame himself for his lack of influence in the UN uh, bodies because uh, it, it's true that the US is the first uh, uh, contributor to the WHO budget or to the UN budget for that matter, but it has completely divested its uh, political clout or its energy into every single UN organization. Uh, and, and, and therefore, it cannot blame others for using the vacuum and, and, and to uh, exert influence in those organizations.